about a month ago I made a video where I was using an LED uh, and, and in fact a diode to detect light and it turns out you can get quite a big voltage out of an LED but you don't get very much current it's a really really immeasurably small amount of current so I thought what I would do is use an op amp to boost up the signal and then I'll get an output voltage here which I would be able to feed into something else like a microcontroller so I could feed it into the BBC micro bit and, and read the value. So that's what I've got set up here. I've got the LM324 which has got four op amps in the same chip and in fact as I'll show you in a minute on the circuit diagram I'm using two of the op amps in here. So on the left hand side of the circuit here so we've got the LED that I'm using as my light detector and so I'm boosting that up through a couple of stages on the LM324 and then I've got the the meter over here the voltmeter connected to the output so we can see what that looks like and so if I just give you a quick demo at the moment this is reading a few millivolts so so that's somewhere around zero this this is just with the uh, ambient light falling on it and if I cover up the LED you can see that it goes slightly negative so the so the value the voltage value is going down and then if I get my torch here my nice big torch and I shine that on the LED you can see that it goes right up to about 2.7 volts and so 2.7 volts is a nice value because it's uh, suitable for the input to an um, A to D converter on a microcontroller, especially a, th a 3 volt microcontroller. Because if, if you've got a microcontroller that runs on 3 volts, you typically don't want to put more than 3 volts into the analog input because you might, uh, you might cook something. So let me describe a little bit what I've built here. Before I start going through this in detail, I would just like to acknowledge the source for this. So this uh, marvellous book, The Art of Electronics by Horowitz and Hill, is a great reference book for electronics. And what I found here on page 253 of the... Um, this is the second second edi edition of the book, which I've had for many, many years. Um, there's a sample circuit here, photodiode, photodiode amplifier. And so we've got a photodiode here wired between the two inputs of the op amp, the inverting and non-inverting inputs. And the, uh, what, what happens here is you get a voltage at the output, which is proportional to the current that's generated by the photodiode so so the the current going through the photodiode depends on the light falling on it and we're boosting that up with an op amp stage in order to get a measurable voltage out of that now the LT1055 that's um, a J, JFET uh, op amp now I don't have a, a JFET op amp in my box of tricks but what I do have is this nice package with four um, bipolar type uh, op amps on the on the same chip which turns out to be quite useful so what I've done is I've taken the art of electronics sample circuit and I've put the LED in instead of a photodiode these values I, the two two point seven meg. These are values that I I had in my box of resistors. So there's n not really much science to how I chose these. They were just the the values that were available. But you see, this is a, a similar design. So um, I've got the LED between the in, invert inverting and non-inverting inputs of the op amp. 
Now what happens with this circuit is you actually get a negative voltage here which is why I've got this second stage so you get a negative voltage that's proportional to the current and what I've done here is added a second stage using another one of the op amps on the chip so that I invert it back and, and you see here this is in the inverting configuration and these two resistor values are the same so this has got a gain of one but it simply inverts the signal so I get a positive voltage and I, I can show you that so if I put this on the on the first stage here at the output if I put it on the first stage on the output you can now see And if I put it on the first stage of the output, you can see now if I shine my torch in there, we get minus 3.9 volts. So that's so we get a negative voltage. So then I've got my buffer stage, my second inverter stage. If I switch that back to the output there, and that gives me my positive voltage. So about 2.7 volts for the maximum amount of light into the LED. So what we can now do is we can also we can plug this into a microcontroller so we can actually measure this voltage in the microcontroller. The micro bits now plugged in so I decided to use the BBC micro bit because it's nice it's standalone it's running off batteries here so I don't have to worry about having different grounds from different power supplies and, and things like that. I, and I should just mention that because this is um, an op amp, a typical thing with op amps is you have to have a split rail power supply. So you've got the um, plus, plus V and minus V. Here we've got plus 4 volts and minus 4 volts. And then the ground is in between, so this is the 0 volt line. And in this case, I've done I've done a bit of a cheat here, which is quite common if you look on the circuit diagram here. So what I've done is I've actually put sort of eight eight to ten volts across two resistors, and then I've tapped off in between, and that's that becomes my ground. And this doesn't allow for very much current, but I don't need much current in this application in in any case. So that's what I've done here, and that's these are the split rail uh, resistors here over on the left hand side. So if we look at what's on the display now, so the micro bit is saying three. So um, all it's doing at the moment is showing the the uh, count from the analog to digital converter. So um, so three is, is fairly close to zero. So this is reading a zero value at the moment for the for the ambient light. I don't know if it goes any lower than that if I make it darker. No, no, it doesn't. So that's effectively a zero value. Um, so let me just show you what the program looks like. I've got a small Python program running here to print out this value. I'll just walk you through that. So in the editor here, we've got a very simple program. Uh, so I'm clearing the display, first of all, when the micro bit boots. And then I go into this loop here. So this while true means a, a loop that uh, keeps looping around forever. And all I'm doing here is I'm, I'm doing a, a read analog. So this is reading an analog value from pin zero, which is one of the edge uh, one of the pins brought out to the edge of the, the micro bit. So there's an analog to digital converter on pin zero. So I can read the voltage value and I can return it into this variable called value. And then very simply, all I'm doing is uh, I convert the value into a string and I'm displaying it in a scroller on the, on the, on the display. So, so this value here, uh, this is going to be a number between Naught and 1023, which is what the analog, um, the analog to digital converter returns on uh, on the micro bit. 
and uh, so that that naught to one o two three is representing a value of up to three volts because the 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 power supply for the micro bit in this case is three volts. So finally, at the end of the loop, I've got a, a sleep of two thousand or two seconds. So it's just. Finally, I've got a, a sleep of 2,000 or 2,000 milliseconds or two seconds, so that uh, it, it only goes around this loop and, and shows a value every two seconds or so. So on the micro bit display here, so we've got the value of three, which is effectively zero. Now let's see if we can put some light on it and make the value increase. So if I light up the LED, Something's gone wrong now. What's happening? So I'm not reading any value with the multimeter any longer. Oh, there we go. Something wrong with the, the breadboard, I think. OK, so when I light up the LED now, uh, the meter is showing me 2.7 volts and the micro bit is saying 968 so 968 that's uh, so that's fair fairly close to the maximum which is 1023 so in this way if I take the LED if I take the torch a little bit further away uh, I'm getting what's that around t around two volts on the on the meter so I'm getting about one volt on the meter and 414 on the micro bit, so a bit less than halfway up on the micro bit scale. So there we are. You could obviously do something more exciting with the uh, micro bit display. You could uh, make some kind of bar graph on here, and I may do that. Or you, or you could convert the uh, 0 to 1023 back into a voltage and display the voltage on the on the screen but you can see the principle of this so it's possible to use a uh, an LED as a light sensor and connect it to a 3 volt microcontroller so there we go that's the idea so uh, measuring light with an LED and capturing data onto a microcontroller Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed this, found it interesting, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if there's something else you would like to see with this setup that I've created here.